हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द फ्रिक्शन राइट सो अगेन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द 30 केजी होमोजेनियस सिलेंडर ऑफ 400 एमएम डायमीटर रेस्ट्स अगेंस्ट द वर्टिकल एंड इंक्लाइंड सरफेस इज शोन इफ द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन between the cylinder and the surface is 0.30 so this is mu s right so we are given that the stat the coefficient of static friction is 0.30 right and we are asked to calculate the applied clockwise couple m which which would cause the cylinder to slip right so we have to find the moment applied to this cylinder which will cause the slip right so we have to find the value of this applied moment right So now for that we have to draw uh, the free body diagram right so let's say that uh, if i consider uh, this homogeneous cylinder is my free body diagram right so we will have the first of all we will have the weight of this homogeneous cylinder which will be acting vertically downward like this right so this weight is uh, 30 times 9.81 similarly uh, from these two surfaces one is the inclined surface and the other one is the vertical uh, surface so we will have those normal forces right so let's say that here at this particular point i will have this normal force and the line of action of this normal force will pass through that uh, uh, center of this homogeneous uh, cylinder right so let's say that this is that normal and so here we will have that normal force let me try it again right so this will be that normal force and the line of action of this normal force will pass through the the axis of this cylinder the central axis of this cylinder right so let's say that this point is o right this point is o and similarly uh, here we will have that uh, normal force as well right so let's say that this normal force is represented by an v and here we will have that normal force as well and again the line of action of this normal force will also pass through this point o right so here we will have that n and this will be let's say this is an a right similarly since there is a uh, the friction between the homogeneous cylinder surface and these uh, vertical and inclined surfaces right so we we have to represent that so if the moment is applying in this direction so this applied moment will tend to rotate this homogeneous cylinder in the clockwise direction right so the friction will resist this clockwise moment right so we will have the friction force which will be acting vertically upward here right and this friction force will be equal to mu s and v right since this vertical wall is applying an v reaction right so we will have this much friction right so let's say this is f v so this is let's say wall b and this is let's say wall a right so wall b will apply mu s and v friction and similarly since it uh, the friction will resist the clockwise moment right so then here at this particular point we will have the friction which will be acting like this right and this will be f a right so let me represent that this is f a and this will be equal to again this will be equal to mu s and a right so i can write that f a will be equal to mu s and a so now this is this is quite simple problem right now let me first extend the line of action of this an a so it will pass through that point o and as we can see that this an a will be perpendicular to this inclined surface and this line is perpendicular to the horizontal right so if the angle between both of these is 30 degrees so then this an a will also be making 30 degrees angle here right so we can say that this an a is making 30 degree angle with the negative y axis if this is our positive x axis and if this is my negative y axis and the positive y axis is what acting vertically upward right so this is my reference for the positive x and y axis right so now if if we apply the summation of moment about point o equals to 0 so is we can see that this nb is passing to that point o 
so and this and a is passing to that point o so both of these and a and and b and this weight they are not producing the moment about that point o since these three forces are passing through that point o so only this f a and this f b these friction forces are producing the moment about that point o right so as we can see that this applied uh, moment is acting in the clockwise direction so we will write that this is minus m and this f b is producing the clockwise moment about the uh, counter clockwise moment about that point o so i will write plus and this f b is mu s n b so i will write mu s n b and the perpendicular distance of this f b from that point o will be equal to the radius of this uh, homogeneous cylinder so we are given that the diameter is equal to 400 mm or in meters we can say that this will be equal to 0.4 meters and the radius will be equal to 0.4 divided by 2 so this will be equal to 0.2 meters right so we have to multiply this with 0.2 and similarly this fa is also producing the counter clockwise moment about that point o so again i will write plus and fa is mu s and a I will write mu s n a, and again the perpendicular distance of this f a from that point o is the radius of this homogeneous cylinder, and that radius is 0.2. So I will multiply this with 0.2, and this will be equal to zero. And if we bring this m to the other side of equation, so we will have the equation like this, and we know that mu s is 0.30. So we are given mu s as well. So I can write this equation as m equals to and this mu s is 0.30 so i will write 0.30 times 0.2 into nb plus this is uh, 0.30 times 0.2 into na and this we can further simplify this so point we can take 0.30 into 0.2 so this will be 0.30 into 0.2 and here we can write that this will be n a plus n b right and if we multiply both of these so this will be equal to 0.06 right so this is 0.06 so let's say this is our equation 1 so once we know this n a n n and n b then we will be able to find that m right which is required so again if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 right so then we we have to resolve this and a and n, and this f a into its components right so again if i draw a horizontal line here so since this f a is acting along this surface so it will be making that 30 degree angle with the horizontal right so then this f a will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in the positive x direction like this and it will have one component which will be acting vertically downward in the negative y direction right so this one is the cos component so i will write that this is uh, mu s n a let me write that this is f a cos of 30 and this one is f a sin of 30 and since this an a is also making 30 degree with the horizontal so we can resolve it here right so this an a will have one component which will be acting vertically upward this one will be the cos component let me write that this will be an a cos of 30 degrees and it will have one component which will be acting like this so this one will be the sin component right this is an a sin of 30 degrees this one So now if i apply the summation of forces along x this is our positive x direction so as we can see that this and a sin of 30 is acting in the positive x direction so i will write an a sin of 30 degrees this cos component of fa is also acting in the positive x direction and fa is uh, let me write that this is plus fa cos of 30 degrees and since fa is mu s n a so i will write that this is mu s n a and mu s is again we know that this is 0.3 so i will write this as 0.3 n a 
cos of 30 degrees and this and b is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus and b and the remaining forces are components are acting in the uh, along the y direction right so th this is one another equation we can simplify it so i can take an a common from this so this will be sin of 30 plus 0.3 cos of 30 degrees minus n b equals to 0 and if we simplify this so this will be 0 0.76 n a minus n b equals to 0 we can write that n b equals to 0 0.76 n a right so we have the relationship between n n a and n b right so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so now as we can see that we have this n a cos of 30 this component is acting in the positive y direction so i will write n a cos of 30 degrees similarly uh, this sine component of this uh, F A friction is acting in the negative y direction, right? So we can write that this is minus F A this component, right? This is acting in the negative y direction. So this is minus F A sine of 30 degrees and F A is mu S and A and mu S is 0.3 and A. This component this F B is acting in the positive y direction. This is equal to mu S and B. So I will write plus and this will be 0.3 and b and the weight is acting vertically downward this is that weight which is acting vertically downward so i will write minus 30 into 9.81 and this will be equal to 0 so now if i substitute and b equals to 0.76 and a right so we will have uh, if i take an a common Right, so I can write here as this will be in place of N B we will have this equation this 0.76 and A. So now we can take an A common from these three terms, right? So I will write an A and this will be cos of 30 degrees minus 0 0.3 sine of 30 degrees plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.76. And we can bring this to the other side of equations. So this will be 30 into 9.81. So if we simplify this whole equation, right, if we find this and divide this weight by this term, so then we get an A equals to 311.8 Newton. And similarly, if I let's say this is our equation 2 so now if i substitute this and a value in this equation 2 so then we will be able to find this and b so and b is equal to 0 0.76 into an a which is 311.8 so this will give us and b equals to 236.9 newton and similarly if we substitute the values of an a and an b in this equation 1 so that will give us that moment which will cause the cylinder to slip right so this m will be equal to 0 0.06 and a so and a is 311.8 plus 200 and b which is 236.9 and this will give us 32.9 newton meter so this is the solution of this particular problem